Hello everyone and welcome to my how to travel in style information video. My name is Freddie and I will be your style attendant today. Please keep your eyes on the screen for the duration of the video and if it's your first time flying with me today, please don't forget to subscribe. Now get comfortable, make sure your volume and brightness are turned up and enjoy the video. The first step to traveling in style is making sure you pack all of your essentials. I always like to take a cabin sized suitcase with me on a flight as well as a handbag as I like to make sure I have everything that I might want with me. First of all, a blanket. It always gets freezing cold on a plane. Next, all of the tech essentials. Laptop, headphones, and of course, a portable phone charger. I also like to take a glass water bottle with me that I can fill up once I'm past security and on the plane. It's really easy to get dehydrated on a flight, so it's important that you drink lots of water to feel fresh. Next, a pair of cozy socks, an eye mask, and a good book to pass the time. Of course, I always pack a camera. You have to be ready for those holiday shots as soon as you step off the plane. And I also like to take a little compact hairbrush too. You do not want airplane bedhead. Next, it's time for cosmetics, and I like to separate my liquids beforehand so that there's no fuss at the airport. I love using this Clinique pouch for my liquids. It's airport security approved, it's reusable, and it's just much more stylish. The first product that I have to pack is my Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Hydrator. This is the most amazing multitask essential flight product. I'm going to show you why later on in the video. I also like to pack an eye cream or an eye serum. A facial spray is an in-flight essential for me and I love the Clinique Moisture Surge face spray, especially in this cute little travel size. I like to have a little tinted moisturizer or CC cream and of course a couple of lip color choices. These are the Clinique Pop Lip Glosses. They're so, so nice. Now I have all of my liquid together they are ready to just pull out at security and you can get this little pouch if you make a purchase at a clinic counter at the airport and then I just throw all of my other non-liquid products into a cosmetic bag like my face wipes and a few other makeup bits so I can look nice and fresh when I get off the plane now our carry-on luggage is packed and ready it's time to get dressed and head to the airport The next step to traveling in style is of course to find the perfect outfit. It should be something super stylish but still comfortable to wear. No one wants to sit on a plane for hours in a dress and heels. First of all, I make sure I have some cute trainers that are comfy and easy to slip on and off. Remember, you usually have to take your shoes off as security. I'm wearing this gorgeous pink matching loungewear set. It's really comfy but it's so beautiful and really stands out. It also has a very important message for the flight attendants on the front and the rose gold details and the silky bottoms give it a really luxury look too. I always love to have super stylish and luxurious luggage. It reminds me of old fashioned movie stars and plus you always know which suitcase is yours. I like to take a large handbag with me to the airport so everything I need is easy to get to. I also like to put all the important things like my passport and boarding pass in a little pouch so I know exactly where they are when I need them. Don't forget I will link all of my luggage and outfit in the description box below. The next step to traveling in style is to enjoy some airport therapy, whether it's a nice meal, indulging in some beauty products, or some classic duty-free retail therapy. The first thing to do is head to your favorite beauty counter at Duty Free. It's so nice to have new products for holiday, and you can usually find some exclusive travel sets too. I love to visit the Clinique counter and have a complimentary Moisture Surge flight preparation skin treatment. It's the perfect way to get your skin ready for the hours of dry, recirculated air you face ahead. You can also ask to try out some products, get foundation matched, try some lipstick colors, and take away some nice new fresh products on holiday with you. Now, of course, you cannot forget about shopping. I always take the opportunity at the airport to go shopping. I love finding a new pair of sunglasses to take on holiday, but it's also a good idea to pre-plan any luxury purchases you might want to make, as it's definitely worth buying them at the airport if you can and paying less than full price. It's also an amazing idea to take advantage of personal shopping services at airports. Most people don't know about it, but it's usually a free service and it involves both luxury and high street shopping and you just have to make an appointment 48 hours before. It's such a lovely, relaxing experience and amazing to get away from the busyness and madness of the airport. You can just sit back and relax, have a glass of champagne, read a magazine, try on some clothes. Trust me, it's the perfect way to start your super stylish trip. 
And the final and most important part of traveling in style is your in-flight pampering. Flights, especially long-haul ones, can be really tough on your skin, so it's important to give it a little bit of love and attention while you're up in the air. First of all, at the start of the journey, I like to take off all my makeup with some makeup wipes. A flight is probably the only time I ever use face wipes, but they're just so handy for on a plane. I always need to take my makeup off on a plane because it just dries up and clogs in my pores and feels pretty gross. Then I like to take my amazing Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. It's the most incredible cooling gel cream that absorbs instantly into the skin and it not only hydrates your skin but it locks in the moisture to prevent it drying out, which is why it's the perfect product for a flight where the aircon is blasting for hours and drying out everything. Next, I like to pop on a little bit of eye cream. This Clinique All About Eye Serum is lovely because the little rollerball is so cooling and relaxing. Finally, of course, I need some hydration on my lips, so I always carry lip balms with me, and I love the Clinique Chubby Sticks because they're actually tinted, they have so many different colours, and they're just super, super moisturising. So, fast forward to later on in the flight, where the aircon is working, it's evil, and your skin is feeling a little tight. This is where the Moisture Surge Face Spray comes in. Just spritz a little over your face, and voila! Instant rehydration. Later on, when you want to have a little nap, you can use Moisture Surge as a face mask while you sleep. I like to pat quite a thick layer onto my skin so that it can sink in over the next few hours while I sleep, so I wake up with perfect, hydrated, plump skin. Then, when you've woken up and it's close to landing, it's time to pop on a little bit of makeup so you look gorgeous and fresh when you get off the plane. I'm starting off with my Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream and I'm actually mixing this in with a little bit of Moisture Surge Cream, so basically creating my own tinted moisturiser. Moisture Surge literally gives you the most dewy, plump skin ever, so when you mix in a little bit of colour corrector for coverage, it's actually the perfect base. I only ever really wear super minimal makeup on holiday, but I do like to add a little bit of blush, and the Clinique Chubby Stick Cheek Colour Balms are perfect, non fussed blushes for doing your makeup in a tight space on a plane. Then, just to add a subtle little highlight, I'm going back to my Moisture Surge and dabbing a tiny amount on the high points of my face to give me a nice, natural, dewy glow. I told you, you can use this product for everything. <laughs> Next, I just like to brush some tinted gel through my eyebrows to give them a little bit of shape and definition. I just can't leave my eyebrows out of makeup ever now. <laughs> and then I'm just lining my lips with a nice blushy nude lip liner. This has actually become my everyday liner now. And then adding some colour with a tinted chubby stick. This is in the shade Curviest Caramel. I rarely use lipstick in hot countries because I just get such dry lips, so this is absolutely perfect for me as it's a tinted lip balm with a really high colour payoff. And then to finish off the makeup, I'm just giving it a nice little spritz and we are done! So by now you should have reached your destination, I really hope you enjoyed the video, have a wonderful holiday and I look forward to flying with you again, bye!